Hello everybody, this is Itsu. Uh, short update after my uh, last problems I had with a uh, 200 volt supply on the uh, MOSFET. I incorporated some changes which were put on uh, the forum by uh, Verpis. Thanks a lot. Uh, First of all I changed my frequency uh, pot with a uh, multi-turn one so I can better control the uh, frequency of the pulses, the Visio. In series with this uh, swappable uh, cap, ceramic cap, I have a 10k pot meter. It's, uh, Kind of uh, dirty way, but uh, this allows me to uh, even more adjust the, the pulse width coming from the nano pulse than with swapping the uh, the caps only. Um, then I made a complete rebuild of the uh, of the uh, MOSFET and the driver. Uh, I put it in a kind of uh, air web configuration on a uh, grounded uh, plate. I have uh, managed to hook up the uh, MOSFET in a kind of clamp like construction I uh, found in an old TV set. So it's now uh, clamped and isolated by a ceramic, ceramic uh, isolator. I have hooked up the uh, MOSFET driver directly to the uh, gate. The MOSFET driver is uh, upside down and uh, the grounds are directly soldered to the, uh, the ground plate and uh, bypassed. I have a uh, spike uh, remover, I call it from the drain uh, 1K and a uh, one nanofarad uh, cap to ground. And here is the 100 uh, ohm uh, induction free uh, uh, resistor, also heavily uh, bypassed by a uh, electrolytic cap and a uh, ceramic cap there. And the shorts, the leads are very short and this is my entry of the 200 volt. At the moment I put on my second uh, power supply and that is cranked up till 40 volts. So I have 40 volt on the uh, drain of the MOSFET and this is the other side of the power supply just supplying 5 volts, uh, 12 volts sorry 12 volts and 5 volts to the, uh, to the logic. So one side is 12 volts and the other side is uh, max 40 volts. And this goes to uh, this construction. I have the red probe on the uh, on the drain at the 100 ohm resistor, and I have the yellow probe on the uh, the entry of the MOSFET driver. And these are the signals. Uh, yellow is the MOSFET driver input, and uh, red is the uh, very nice, uh, no spikes at all, 40 volt, 42 something volt being pulled down to zero for the width is uh, about 80 nanoseconds. We are at 100 nanoseconds per division so this cleaned up very very much, uh, very good this uh, nasty spikes I had on this uh, MOSFET drain voltage. So I guess I'm ready now to hook up uh, the 200 volt power supply and see what that's uh, going to uh, show us. Okay welcome back I have hooked up my temporarily variable uh, DC power supply. I have the Variac 220 volt from the grid into a uh, isolation transformer one to one 
being rectified by a uh, full bridge going into uh, to microwave oven capacitors. I've hooked up my uh, multimeter across it and uh, I feed this to the side at the MOSFET drain and I have the normal power supply hooked up 12 of 12 volts to the uh, nano pulser circuit. Um, I still have the red probe hooked on the uh, on the drain at the 100 ohm resistor, and the yellow probe still at uh, the entry the input of the uh, MOSFET driver. Okay, this is the pulse coming from the uh, MOSFET driver. And I will crank up the voltage now. Um, you will see we are the red probe is at 100 volts per division. I will crank it up to 200 volt. Uh, you will see that this pulse, especially here at the bottom, is getting way way distorted if I crank up the voltage. So we have some some feedback or whatever into this uh, MOSFET driver state somehow. Okay, I will crank up uh, the variac now. We are at uh, 80, 80 volts. This is 150 volts almost. And you can see the yellow trace. There's a lot of noise coming there, some ringing. Um, crank it up even more. We are now at 200 volts on the meter, it's an overload, <coughs> almost 200 volts DC at the moment. Uh, we can see that also here, we have a 212 volt because of the little rickle on top of it, but uh, the signal looks very clean to me. Uh, from the MOSFET driver for this 200 volts. It's uh, 70 nanosecond pulse width, a fault time of about uh, 5 to 6 nanoseconds. But uh, this is still not perfect, I guess. Uh, there's some feedback or coming somewhere in into this. Uh, nano pulse or in the drive MOSFET driver circuit so perhaps I need some uh, extra bypass there but uh, I think the the signal the 200 volt signal is fairly stable and uh, clean and that's what we are going to use for driving this uh, the, the, the next stage of course We are at 14 kilohertz frequency at the moment. This is the, the, the lowest frequency I can get. So we have some, uh, still some work to do, but uh, I guess this signal is uh, out of the MOSFET is very, very good. Uh, touching the there's no current being drawn, so there's no heat at all. MOSFET is cold. So I'm kind of pleased with this uh, signal. I guess we can operate it at 150 volts. That would be, uh, I guess, uh, a nice starting point. Uh, okay, that was uh, a little bit uh, the status I'm uh, here. I have here. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, um, I have still the pulse at uh, 200 volts. I uh, would like now to uh, turn the pot meter to show you how the width of the pulse can be changed. This is the minimum. And here we can increase the width of the pulse with this grey pot meter I installed. It's now all the way 
350, 400. Now it's off scale, but uh, I have a fairly, fairly nice range. I can tune this width of this pulse now with this. The spot meter which is in series with the 100 ohm uh, resistor. Let me show where that is. That would be this, uh, this 100 ohm resistor. I have put a 10k multi-turn pot meter in series with it and together with this uh, ceramic cap it can influence the uh, the width of the pulse which might be handy for the next uh, step uh, to activate this uh, this diode uh, and toroid uh, stuff okay that was a little addition thank you